When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he took me with him. Hey everybody, I'm working on an extensive, and I mean extensive, video takedown of every assertion I can find from Flat Earth proponents. And a couple of weeks ago, I came across a video called Sun Moon Proves Flat Earth True by Truth Not Troll Sturrock. It's not the only one of its kind. There are a number of videos making this particular claim, but this one does have some really nice graphics that give it an air of legitimacy. Let's be honest, things that are well produced are taken more seriously. The claim is that if the Earth and solar system were a heliocentric globe model, as science has professed for many centuries, the direction of the moon phases, the direction of light and shadow moving across the face of the moon, would reverse every six months, which we all acknowledge does not happen. The claim is the lunar phases moving in the same direction all year round is only consistent with the flat Earth model and thus proves the Earth is flat and stationary. The video ends with a clear statement. The moon is a giant light gyroscope which explains why the sunlit part of the moon south of the equator looking north moves from the left to the right, and from the north of the equator looking south right to left. This is true both on a spinning globe and a flat earth. What proves we live on a flat stationary earth is the fact that on a spinning globe revolving around a central sun, the light would reverse the direction in which it moves across the moon every six months. We do not see this. This is a solid fact that we live on a flat, stationary Earth. The moon is self-lit, not a reflection of the sun upon it. Otherwise, we would feel heat from the moon, which is not the case. Now, I'm going to ignore these first few sentences because, one, I don't know what they mean by giant light gyroscope. Are they saying that it's bright, or are they saying it's not massive? Also, there's no disagreement about the lunar view from the northern and southern hemispheres. So let's get rid of that part. I'm also going to ignore this last sentence of this paragraph. One, because it's not actually related to the evidence they put forth, and it doesn't hold up to the mildest scrutiny. I mean, right off the bat, because we don't feel heat from the moon, and I assume they mean we don't feel the heat with our bodies, that somehow means it's not reflected from the sun? That self-lit somehow means no heat? The, the sun is self-lit. We feel heat from that. My light bulbs are self-lit. We feel heat from them. So obviously self-lit doesn't mean no heat. And this whole thing is about the phases of the moon. If the moon is self-lit, why the fuck are there phases at all? Why isn't it always full? What laws of physics are you going to make up to explain why a self-lit moon has changing shadows across its surface that just so happen to correspond to the exact position of the sun and not use the sun in your explanation? Okay, well, I wasn't able to ignore that last sentence there. It just makes no sense. Anyway, I'm also going to truly ignore this last part because it's just showing the difference between the lunar view in the northern hemisphere and the southern, and there's no disagreement there. So we're left with this claim that the direction of the phases is proof of a flat Earth, and that on a rotating globe Earth, the phases must reverse. Let's look at their proof. The video starts off with three images of high altitude clouds with lines claiming a flat surface. How small sections of large curves can appear straight is a video unto itself and irrelevant to the lunar claim, so I'll move on. Next is this section here, labeled Complete Debunk of Spinning Globe Model. The upper portion contains a very obvious flaw that I will come back to as it comes up again. But first, I want to focus on this graphic at the bottom. It claims a 28-day phase cycle at one time of year would be reversed at the opposing time of the year. I've reproduced it here for clarity. Now, at first, when I look at it, it seems it might be accurate, but it's actually off. To figure out why it's off, let's first look at how the graphic was made. We start off with the Earth with the visible phases of the moon surrounding it. Each moon icon represents how the face of the moon looks to someone in the northern hemisphere. The maker of the graphic brought over a copy of the Earth and the moon phases, and knowing that the new moon phase should be between the Earth and the sun, they flipped the graphic horizontally. 
On the original graphic, you can see that the clouds on the Earth are flipped horizontally. That may seem like an okay thing to do on the surface, but if we add in the fact that the Earth's spinning from west to east and take those same actions, we now have a planet that's spinning from east to west, and that makes no sense. Ha ha, you say. That's the problem with your globe theory, Mr. Williams. But no, that's just the problem with the way these people chose to get to their conclusion. There's no reason for the horizontal flip that was done, and there's no reason to think the globe model would have reversed lunar phases. And I'll show you. When seen from the northern hemisphere, the moon goes through phases of first quarter, full, last quarter, new. When the angle of the sun to the earth to the moon is zero degrees, we see a new moon. 90 degrees, first quarter, 180, full, 270, last quarter. This cycle continues throughout the year. Even as the earth goes through its orbit, the relation between the angle of the sun and the phase of the moon stays the same. Six months later, the Earth is still rotating west to east, and the phases of the moon are still cycling first quarter, full moon, last quarter, new moon. You may be thinking, now it's upside down. But it's not. This is just a graphic representation. In space, the visual top and bottom don't matter. What matters is the position objects are in relation to one another. If I flip this graphic around, essentially flying to the other side of the solar system and looking on, you'll see everything is in the same relative position it was six months prior. The claim that on a heliocentric globe model the phases of the moon should reverse is false, because in a heliocentric model the relation between the sun, the earth, and the moon stay the same, and thus the phases should appear the same, unchanged throughout the year, which it does. The video goes on to show two examples of the moon going through phases in relation to its position with the earth and the sun. The top half of the video proposes that the phases of the moon should be traveling from left to right in a global model for part of the year, while the bottom of the video shows that the phases of the moon travel from right to left during the other part of the year. As nice as this section looks, and it does look nice, it has a very basic error. I will let it play so you can look for it. Let's look at the bottom half, which it says, and I agree, is the way the lunar phases appear in reality in the northern hemisphere. For clarity's sake, we're going to take this spinning Earth and turn it into a face pointing at the moon, labeling its right eye and left eye because that's important. As the moon goes through its phases, the shadow portion of the moon travels from right to left from the viewer's point of view. Watch how my arrow sweeps past the right eye and then the left eye. Now let's look at the top half, but I'm going to cover up the big moon image for now. Remember, the claim is that this top half shows that if a global model is true, the lunar phases will travel from left to right instead of right to left. This model seems to be properly built. The Earth is rotating west to east. The Moon is orbiting from west to east. The only difference between this model and the lower half model is the Sun is on the other side of the Earth. So far, so good. Let's bring back our arrows and our face. Now, I've conceded that this model is accurate so far. But as you can see, the phases of the moon are still traveling from right to left. Watch my arrow sweep across the right and then the left eye. This model shows that in a globe system, the lunar phases will continue to travel from right to left throughout the year, which is precisely the opposite of what the maker of this video had claimed. But what about that moon you're covering up over there? What are you hiding there, Jerry? Well, I'm covering up their error. Because you would think that since this model accurately shows the phase of the moon moving from right to left, that their close-up of the face of the moon would have the phases moving from right to left, wouldn't you? Observe again on the lower portion how the arrow sweeps from right to left across the face of the earth, and the phase of the moon moves from right to left across the face of the moon. Up above, the arrow sweeps from right to left across the face of the earth. But in their close-up of the moon? What? They have the phase of the moon moving from left to right. Even though their model shows it's going from right to left, they chose to depict it going left to right. Why? With their own evidence right in front of them, they still put up the wrong thing, because putting up an accurate view would undermine their argument. So they lie because it's what they want the truth to be. This goes back to the first image that I skipped over. Even though you can see from the relationship between the sun, the earth, and the moon, that from the point of view of B, the light should be creeping around from right to left. They still put up a picture with the light coming around from the left side of the moon. 
I love this model that they made for two reasons. One, because it accurately shows that in a heliocentric globe model, the phases of the moon will continue in the same direction without reversing throughout the entire year, which is not what they wanted to do. It also proves that some flat earthers are willing to ignore the evidence of their own creation in order to try to make a point. Contrary to their claim, the lunar phases moving in the same direction all year round is wholly consistent with the globe model and serves as evidence that the earth is round and revolving around a central sun. one on this planet to even challenge me. Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.